Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about switch case in CSOF.NET. So, what is the switch case? So, it is a selection statement that chooses a single switch section to exclude from the list of candidates based on pattern match with the match expression. And uh, with switch case, we can use this expression can string full integral values such as integer long, and uh, we can use enum also. So, let's understand by example. So I am going to take integer type variable in as in slicing with one. Now here after let's use our switch statement. So what the add here you if you take the cursor add here switch or tap twice insert the switch snip. Okay. Now here after let's give add here i value now. So inside the case we have to use case statement. So case and here give a uh, case value different to uh, case value so first is one now here after going to use console cross dot or uh, right line method and here so going to print case one executed if the condition is match with case one then case one executed that print now close by uh, semicolon and here break statement so here to, let's copy that and uh, paste it down. So case two and here. So see right here when uh, I paste then I'm getting the error red color. Uh, the reason is so level must be different because at here I already used one case one. So that must be or uh, different. So let's give at here two and here going to give 3 and if all the condition is not true so that go to the default part now let's execute and check so oh at here so see at here case 1 is executed now here i equal to 1 so switch uh, the value is now that receive 1 here after that go so that to try to match the case with uh, this values so at here uh, at here this value is now 1 so at here case 1 so this uh, 1 is match with at here 1 so that uh, that go this block and here console dot write and case 1 executed it's a print now here after break a statement so that I made the uh, switch case now here after if you give at here the value is 2 so here yeah, i value is 2 now so that try to uh, match so 2 equal to 1 so condition is not true so 2 equal to 2 this condition is true so that print case to executed. So this is at here for three. And here. So at here default part. Now let's execute. So see at here I'm getting the output case to is executed. So I will just do not do switch at here or uh, I this point that receive two. So that try to match or uh, try to match as a case one equal to case two. This condition is not true, so that go to this part. At here two equal to two. This condition is true, so that print case two is executed here after break a statement, terminate the switch case. Now here after if you give at here three. So let's execute. So this time 3 match with 3 then that execute at here or uh, case 3 is executed. Now suppose if I am going to execute here and going to enter the value like 67. So 67. So going to give the value 89. So press any key to execute. So at here uh, I value is no. Okay there is one mistake. Case 3 is executed. At this point, I am going to give at here 67. So, see at here, it is a printing default because uh, i value is 67. That try to uh, match the match with cases. So, 67 equal to 1, not true, 2, not true, 3, not true. So, if all cases are not true, so that go to the default part, and here this is print default. So, whatever in double quotes, uh, that print. So, this is about the case statement. Now here after if you want or uh, uh, the value is not to initialize, so you should try it at here. Uh, 
I'll just write console class dot write line method and here in double quote write enter the number enter the number and here going to take integer type variable integer i equal to int dot parse console dot write line console dot write line that is accepted now according to user input value that try to match so suppose if i enter the value is so or 3 sorry 3 so 3 i enter now 3 is executed so i value is 3 add here this receive 3 now that or check 1 by 1 so 3 equal to 1 not true 3 equal to 3 3 equal to not true 3 equal to 3 so add here case 3 is executed so here after if you add give add here 78 so i enter the value 78 so 78 is not matched with any cases so that default part execute at here so this is pretty default now here after do one thing so i don't want to give this so going to remove this part or oh, let's make that comment and here so getting error message out oh, here you can just write to the value directly zero so there is a warning so let's ignore the warning so add here case so that try to match add here or 0 with 1 2 3 it's all not true that is all going to default part now if you give add here or till so let's give add here to now execute So see here, our case 2 is executed. Now here after I am going to make that to in character format too. So let's see what happens. So at here getting the error message. Or oh, because can dot implicitly convert integer to char. So it all are this all values are right now. It's a integer format. And if you want to match with the cat to cat, so at here you have to give the single code at this point. Single code. Single code and your single cut single cut now there is a warning but no any error now execute that so see at here our case two is executed here so you can use different data or scar integer and your pool or data you can use so let's use at your pool so pool going to take the bool variable b and your initializing with true so at here we have to pass a uh, b value so if you give the bool value so see at here this all are giving the error message bool at here or going to write to at here true now there is no any error at here i'm getting now let's uh, make the cursor down so at here let's give or two one more time so there is a, a multiple true values so that and here it's a giving the error now give this terms false so false and here this is the next part of is for default part now execute that so bool value initialize with true so at here if you the output it's a displaying case one executed because bool value is not true so uh, stage that is it true and here directly comes to this point and here to match so true equal to true so that here case one is executed and true equal to false this is not here this is not matched so that else part not executed or you can directly use and here true and this is not required so here you can get the warning but no any error so this is the next uses now here after let's do one more thing so this part going to remove this is not right now it's not required now here after let's see other examples so add your console cross dot right line so console cross dot right line so enter the enter the number just like going to give add your one two 
and 3 right and here after uh, that will uh, receive by i now here after let's use a uh, switch statement a uh, switch and you're passing i value now here after a uh, case so we can give at here a uh, cons case one and a uh, console dot right line and here so current value and you are going to use this time placeholder placeholder now give 1 and here after break a statement so here after all the error out now copy that and paste it down so see and here oh, there is the give some table value different so this time 2 and here this is for 3 and here change that 2 and here 3 and here oh this is for 4 so if the condition is not match so and here that should be print invalid invalid value now here after let's execute that so there must be console dot read line after the switch we need to use console dot read line so getting the error message I think we don't need to give this semicolon sorry bracket so see idea enter the number so this time going to enter or 3 so here current value is a 3 it's a printing now here after uh, what uh, I'm going to do that here just removing break statement okay first uh, uh, let's uh, stop that and break statement I just remove now here after so see I'm getting the error message the reason of control or uh, control cannot fall through one case level two directly that to not fall so at here going to use go to at here go to statement and you're going to use go to case one now here we can use so directly we cannot we cannot use and here so if we uh, just remove so there is error uh, so you cannot uh, uh, use we, without use without break a statement it gives the error so it directly cannot jump so I will just try to jump if there is a break means what if the control comes to this point then directly turn it so either you can use direct at your go to a statement if you jump or some places so for this we need to use go to a statement and your case one so let's execute at here so this time going to enter the value of 3 so see at here or oh, first that to match with case 3 so condition is 2 so at your current value is it's a 3 it's a printing now go to case 1 so go to case 1 at here this is printing or oh, current value is 1 here after break a statement that terminate switch so this is the all important point about the switch statement at here so I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.